Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to our new English lesson. U ovoj video lekciji razjašnjavamo definitivno onu dilemu present simple, present continuous. Dakle, jasno je zašto ta dilema postoji u srpskom, postoji samo jedan prezent. Ja sada sedim, ja sedim svaki dan ispred kompjutera, ja sedim pa sedim. Međutim, znamo je li tako da na engleskom ima razlike između I sit at the computer and I'm sitting at the computer. So, when do I say I sit, kada kažem I sit, a kada I'm sitting, nekad je ta razlika kristalno jasna i nema problema, čim vidim now, onda je present continuous, međutim nije to baš sve tako jasno, dakle ima i drugih nekih vremenskih priloških tih odredba koji mogu da vam pomognu da se odlučite za jedno, odnosno drugo vreme i plus ima i nekih glagola koji ne idu ing, dakle neki glagola koji iako se neka radnja dešava u trenutku govora, mi ih ne stavljamo u continuous, kao ono I am wanting, I am understanding, to ne postoji, nego su uvijek u present simple tensu. Dakle, o svemu tome, danas, kroz mnogo primjera, vaš je zadatak da prepišete primjere, dakle, otvorite sve, skuradite zajedno, sa mnom prepisujte, objašnjavajte sami sebi, podbačite i naučite. Krećemo odmah. The first sentence, prva rečenica, he usually speak so quickly that I not understand him. U prevodu, on obično tako brzo govori, da ja ne razumem. He usually, so what do we have to do with this verb speak? Jel treba nešto da promenimo na ovome speak? What do you think? He usually... Speaks. Dakle, dodajemo nastavak S, zato što je he. Treća lica jednine i present simple je u pitanju. He usually speaks so quickly that I not understand him. Šta ovdje treba da uradimo? Da li možemo da ostanimo da kažemo I not understand you? No. Znači, not je samo negativna ta rečica koja se dodaje na pomoćni glagol. Ono slučajno u present simple, prvo lice jednine, I, znači dodajemo do not, odnosno I don't. I do not understand him. I don't understand him. I dobili smo sad tačnu rečenicu. He usually speaks so quickly that I don't understand him. That's my problem. He speaks quickly and I don't understand him. Kada bismo hteli da kažemo sada, now, on sada govori brzo. Kako bismo rekli, trenutno, on trenutno, on tako govori brzo. He is speaking so quickly. Dakle, ovaj prvi deo bismo promenili. I rekli bismo he is speaking quickly, znači on govori brzo, he is speaking quickly, that I, tako da ja, ne mogu da ga razumem. Da li bismo promenili ovo? Ne bismo. Zašto? Pa zato što uvijek glagol understand nikada ne stavljamo u present continuous. Nikada ne kažemo I am not understanding him. No. Znači... Glagol understand ostaje isti i kad je present simple i kad je present continuous. Znači, bez obzira da li je inače ili je trenutno, uvek kažemo I don't understand. Znači, ne postoji I am not understanding. Samo I don't understand. Ali ovaj glagol speak, možemo da kažemo he usually speaks and he is speaking now, at this moment, quickly. Ok? Ok. Ima još ti glagole, ali tako, koji ne idu, da kažemo, ne idu u present continuous, znači ne dobiju ing, to su, znači neki glagoli koji značavaju neko stanje, osnovne koje vi treba da naučite know, znati, understand, znači nema knowing, understanding, liking, nego su uvek I don't know, I don't understand, I don't like. Najćemo na još neki u toku ove vežbe. Ok. Sljedeća rečenica kaže what now I think she at the moment. Znači šta tvoja mama radi sada mislim da pegla. Tako treba da glasi dialog. Znači šta your mother radi sada. Kako ćemo da postavimo pitanje? Ono što uvijek kažem jeste da postavljamo pitanje u engleskom. Uvijek 
Ok, stavimo ubitnu reč, what, i onda imamo to 1, 2, 3. Šta znači 1, 2, 3? Znači 1, pomoćni glagol, 2, subjekat, 3, glavni glagol. I uvek taj redosled. Znači do, does, is, neki pomoćni glagol. Dvojka je subjekat, u ovom slučaju your mother. I treći je glavni glagol. Ovdje imamo glagol to do, kao glavni glagol. E sad, pošto je now, je tako, trenutno, onda ćemo pitati koristeći present continuous tense. What is, pomoćni glagol is, subjekat your mother. What is your mother doing now? What is your mother doing now? Dakle, obratite pažnju, postavili smo pitanje u present continuousu. Glagol to be, pomoćni glagol. I glavni glagol sa nastavkom ing. What is your mother doing now? I think she... Imamo glagol iron. Peglati. She is ironing at the moment. I think she is ironing at the moment. Znači, odgovaramo isto present continuous tense. She is, pomoćni glagol, i iron sa nastavkom ing. What is she doing at the moment? She is ironing. Pegla. Šta tvoja mama inače radi popodne? Kako ćemo to pitanje da postavimo? Inače, usually. Znači sada menjamo, niše nije is i doing, nego postavljamo present simple tense. What does? Subjekat je your mother, to se ne menja. Broj 2. What does your mother do? I glavni glagol je samo do. In the afternoon, for example. What does your mother do? Znači, sad smo koristili simple. What does your mother do? Uporedite sa what is your mother doing. Trenutno, what does your mother do? Šta obično radi? Popodne. She irons. Pegla. Dakle, od she is ironing. Pegla. Trenutno dobili smo she irons. Pegla. She irons. Idemo dalje. I'm afraid I can't meet you at six. I'm afraid I can't meet you at six. I, my friend tonight. Meet je glagol. Znači, bojim se da ne mogu sa tobom da se nađem u šest. Nalazim se sa prijateljem. Tonight. Ovo je ključna reč. Tonight. Kad se to dešava? Da se to stalno dešava? Ne, dešava se tonight. Danas, večeras. Znači, nije nešto što je običajna radnja, nego nešto što je danas, večeras. I onda je to present continuous. I onda kažemo I am meeting my friend tonight. I am meeting my friend tonight. I can't meet you because I am meeting my friend. I am afraid I can't meet you. At six, I'm meeting my friend. I onda mogu da kažem, ja se uvek nalazim sa njim u šest. I always meet him at six. I always meet him at six. And I am meeting him at six tonight. Always, uvek. Tonight, večeras. I tu je ta razlika. Uvek i samo večeras ili večeras. I don't know, sljedeća rečenica, I don't know if we can afford this holiday. Afford znači priuštiti. Ne znam da li možemo da priuštimo ovaj odmor. I don't know if we can afford this holiday. It on the price. Glagol depend. Znači, treba da kažemo, sve zavisi od cene. It depends. It, znači, treće lice je ninen, stavljamo S. It depends on the price. It depends on, pazite i na ovom. Mi kažemo, zavisi od. Na engleskom je to, it depends on. Pazite i na taj predlog. Znači, what does it depend on? Bi bilo pitanje. Od čega zavisi? What? Pa 1, 2, 3. Znači, what does it 
depend on. Od čega zavisi? What does it depend on? It depends on the price. He often to work when the weather is fine walk. Znači, često ide pešice na posao. He to, the work, to work. Kada je vreme ok. Kada je vreme, kada je vreme fine he often, znači obično, walks to work. He often walks to work um, when the weather is fine. Znači, present simple. Danas ide pešice na posao, ćemo reći he is walking to work today. He is walking to work today. Znači, danas ide pešice. He is walking to work today. And he often walks. Vidimo tu razliku. He walks, he is walking. Often, često, present simple. Today, danas, present continuous. And make a dress for herself at the moment. Znači, Anne je neka... Šnajderka i ona trenutno pravi haljinu za sebe. At the moment. Znači, is making a dress for herself at the moment. She is making, present continuous, she is making a dress for herself at the moment. She make all her own clothes. Ona sada, inače, svu svoju odeću sama pravi. Inače, she makes all her own clothes. Da li primećujemo šta radimo? Znači, ovo je simple, present simple. She makes all her clothes. S, treće lice Nine. And at this moment she is making a dress for herself for a special occasion. Ovdje imamo kombinaciju. How you get to work usually. Znači, kako obično ideš na posao? Usually, obično idem autobusom, ali sutra idem sa Tomom. Dakle, obratite pažnje na to, sutra, večeras, sada, to je continuous. Dakle, to što je sutra, to ne znači da je svaki dan, samo sutra. A usually, often, every day, to je učestalost, to je present simple. Dakle, kako ćemo da postavimo pitanje, 1, 2, 3, ili tako postavljamo pitanje? How, present simple, dakle, how do you get to work usually? How do you get to work usually? A usually go, ništa ne menjamo, pošto je prvo lice jednine. A usually go by bus. But tomorrow I am going in Tom's car. Tomorrow I am going in Tom's car. How do you get to work usually? I usually go by bus. And tomorrow I'm going in Tom's car. I'm going. I go. E sad, ovde je nešto što moramo da shvatimo iz konteksta. Why you put on your raincoat? I go for a walk. You come with me? Samo što ne zvuči je tako. Ne moramo ništa da promenimo. Zašto ti obući svoj kišni kaput? Ja ići u šetnju. Ti doći sa mnom? To bi bio prevod ove rečenice. Dakle, sad zamišljamo dvoje ljudi i pričaju. To se nešto što se dešava trenutno. On se oblači. Ovo je kaže što oblačiš? Kaput. Znači, trenutno. 1, 2, 3. Znači, continuous. Why are you... Putting on. Why are you putting on? Zašto oblačiš? Your raincoat. Idem u šetnju. Izlazim sad trenutno. I'm going for a walk. I'm going for a walk. Je li ideš i ti sa mnom? Are you coming with me? 
Znači, ceo dijalog nam je u kantinijesu, znači sve to nešto sad se dešava, on stoji na vratima, oblači se, ovaj ga pita, why are you putting on your raincoat? On kaže, I am going for a walk. I onda ga pita, are you coming with me? Love you like, znači love you like su jedni od tih glagola koje smo spomenuli na početku kao ne understand, dakle koji ne miju ing, znači njih samo u present simple. Dakle, da li ga voliš? Do you love him? Ne volim ga, I... Aha, ne, ona kaže sviđa mi se, I like him very much, ali ga ne volim, but I don't... Love him. I like him. Sviđaš mi se, but I don't love him. Ali ga ne volim. Taj auto pravi ti veoma čudnu buku. Da li misliš da je u redu? O, da ta buka nije važna. Eee. Znači, on pali auto i on... Znači, u tom trenutku ti čuješ da taj car is making a very strange noise at the moment. The car is making a very strange noise. Think. U ovom slučaju, znači, je opet kao na jedan da stand ili like ili love. Ne pitamo are you thinking, jer to znači o nešto drugo, nego pitamo da li misliš sa do. Kao do you like, do you think. Do you think it's all right? Oh yes. That noise nije bitna, nije važna. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The car is making a very strange noise. Do you think it's all right? Ah yes, that noise doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I onda nastavlja uvek pravi takvu buku. It always makes a noise like that. Znači, čim je it, treće lice, always present simple, it always makes a noise like that. Tom pita najčudnija pitanja u učionici. Očigledno, stalno on to nešto ispituje i postavlja na čudna pitanja. So he asks the strangest questions. Dad, ja uzimam nešto novca iz tvog novčanika. Izlazim. Znači, ej, uzimam kada, pa očekajno, znači sada. I am taking some money out of your wallet. Obaveštavam te da I'm taking some money out of your wallet. Izlazim sada. I am going out. I'm taking some money and I'm going out. I give a party for my friends once a year. Ništa ne menjamo. Znači ovo once a year znači da se to ponavlja jednom godišnje. Present simple, prvo lice jednine. I give. Znači, pazite sa ovo, mi kažemo pravim žurku ili zabavu. U engleskom ne možemo reći make. Možemo reći give or throw a party, a ne make a party. Such behavior čini mene besnom. Tako ponašanje me veoma ljuti. Znači behavior je it, treće lice jednine, i stalno me ljuti. It makes me furious. That makes me furious. To čini da budem furious, besan. That makes me furious. He usually... Go out on a Saturday night. Obično izlazi subotom. He usually goes, naravno, pošto je treće lice. He usually goes on a Saturday night. What you bake, mom? Mama, šta to pečeš? Oču ga jednu trenutno. Ej, mama, what are you baking? Trenutno. What are you baking? I wear a dress today 
because it's a special occasion. Znači, today, ne every day. Today. Znači, I am wearing a dress today because it's a special occasion. Znači, vidimo today, present continuous. Auto gubi ulje, možeš li da ga popraviš? Znači, ne gubi ulje svakodnevno, hvala Bogu, nego sad u poslednje vrijeme je počeo da gubi ulje. Znači, present continuous. Car is losing oil. The car is losing trenutno oil. Can you fix it? It frequently, frequently znači često. Rings. It frequently rains in England. Present simple. A da li pada kiša sada? Now. Is it raining there now? Is it raining there now? It frequently rains. Is it raining there now? Where's Tom? Eno ga tamo igra tenis. Znači, he is playing tennis. Where is he? He is playing tennis. Ne verujem ni reč. Tomu ni reč. Believe. I do not believe a word he says. Znači, inače, ne verujem ni reč. I don't believe the word he says. Šta radiš učinjeno? Inače, čime se baviš? Znači, ne samo šta radiš sada, nego what do you do for a living je pitanje koje možemo nekako da postavimo da saznamo čime se bavi. What do you do? Šta radiš čime se baviš? Odnosno, what do you do for a living? Moj šef želi da uskoro promeni svoj posao. Want je još jedan od glagola, znači no, like, love, koji ne stavljamo u ing, ali zato pošto je moj boss, My boss, treće lice, he, moramo da stavimo wants. My boss wants to change jobs. Look, pogledaj. I onda sad ja gledam tamo, ova žena tamo puši u non-smoking zoni. Znači, look. Sada trenutno she is. E prelazi u, e se gubi u kod smoke, smoking. She's smoking in the non-smoking zone. She's smoking in the non-smoking zone. According to the timetable, prema rasporedu, ovaj voz uvek, znači, pošto je prema timetable, he lives at 5 past 7. Treće u 5 posle 7, u 7 i 5. According to the timetable, the train leaves at 5 past 7. Ona dolazi na večeru every Saturday, svake subote. Dakle, she comes. Treće lice. She comes for dinner every Saturday. He behave very strange these days. Obrati pažnje na ovo these days. Ovih dana. Znači, nije da se on stano nešto ponaša čudno. Nego danas, juče, možda sutra. Dakle, opet je to nešto što je these days, što nije uobičajeno. To je present continuous. He is behaving strangely these days. He is behaving strangely these days. Šta radiš večeras? Ne svako večer, večeras. What are you doing this evening? Present continuous. This evening, present continuous. What are you doing this evening? A šta radiš ponedeljka? Kom uveče, svakog ponedeljka uveče. What do you do? Znači, uporedite what are you doing this Monday evening, for example, i what do you do on Monday evenings uvek. Uvek pada sneg, it always snows here in winter, treće lice, present simple, ovde uvek pada sneg zimi. The food ima dobar ukus. Tastes good. Taste je još jedan od glagola. Znači, to su glagoli koji značavaju čula, hear, see, smell, taste. Znači, njih isto ne stavljate u ink. Nego, present continuous. I hate living in Seattle because it always 
rains there. Tam uvek pada kiša. It always rains there. I'm sorry, I can't hear what you... Znači, ne mogu da čujem šta pričaš, zato što oni govore toliko glasno. Znači, trenutno. I'm sorry, I can't hear what you are saying because everyone is talking so loudly. I can't hear what you're saying because everyone is talking so loudly. Da li želiš da dođeš na večer u večeras? Aha, večeras, present continuous. Ali, pošto je want, on ne idu present continuous. Znači, pitamo do you want samo. Nema want ili kod glagola want. Do you want to come over for dinner? It is said that computers čine život jednostavnijim. Computers always make life easier. This is only a temporary job. I at the restaurant until they find someone. To je samo trenutno, znači s čim je temporary, to je present continuous. Znači ja pomažem u restoranu dok oni ne nađu zamenu. I am helping at the restaurant until they find someone who help. Okay, that's it for today. See you next time. Bye.